Hi guys, it's Chilekwa and I just did a Bantu Not Out. I was experimenting with two products of the same brand. So the two products that I was using in this video are actually the uh, Batika Curl Defining Cream and the Lock and Twist Gel. So what I had done is um, on the right side of my head, I had actually used the Curl Defining cream and on the other side of my head I used the lock and twist gel and I did this just to see which of the two products would give me the best results. I'm just here to give you a review of what I found. So if you guys would like to see how exactly I achieved this Bantu Not Out look using just these two products then keep on watching. Guess who's back? Yep, it's Tony. Definitely not Chilequa. So we're doing another hair video. Shocking. Um, for the ladies, welcome. For the guys, brace yourselves. So right now we are doing something called twisties or twists or I don't know what she calls them. She will explain more. So she's sniffing it right now. Probably smells really nice. And right now she's parting her hair like the Red Sea. Oh, look at that. She is pulling it, but it's not breaking. Yeah strong hair probably samson lineage something like that okay so she's uh, twisting them uh forming some kind of a little ant hill in her head or springy uh item so if you like springs this is probably your hair if you have a little bounce in your step this is hair for you too so um we're putting everything together very healthy very black very natural okay right now we are all concentrating on the natural part of the hair so right now she's gonna lock something it's called lock something twisty gel um it's called Vat it's a, it's a vatica product too um used for the same thing so it's about the same you know uh, process cream hair twisting okay now show everything's coming together now okay so all that bounce in the hair is going to come up with them little uh it's like a little hair community of spring hair thingies okay so um <clears throat> so this is the healthy hair healthy, healthy hair <laughs> yeah so um we're done so right now her hair looks a bit like the corona or like little springs in her head okay because she has such a bouncy personality huh huh oh you get it okay so she's showing off the hair go girl shut off shut off Ooh, looking gorgeous Ooh. and this is someone's wife imagine okay so step two um we add the oil okay so we are putting everything together so the oil you know just makes it shiny I guess um, I think this one's specifically for hair if you put it on your face I don't know what's gonna happen but y'all can try I don't know what's gonna happen okay so we're undoing the hair here oh now this one definitely looks like little springs in the head okay so it's all bouncy because it is a spring get it spring bounce okay you get it Tuck out. Okay, so um, right now she is twisting, turning, locking, pop, lock, and dropping. Okay, so the hair is coming out uh, gorgeous. So now she's undoing the rest of it. Uh, we are looking at art in progress here. So, I mean, look at this. Look at the concentration. Look at the determination. Look at the hair, guys. The hair. Oh, my gosh. It is amazing. Looking beautiful. Looking gorgeous. She's twisting everything, putting everything together. She looks amazing. Okay, so this is all coming together. Okay, so this is like the end product of the process. So if you guys remember the three-step process we did, so first we twisted it, and then we lick it, then we oh no, this is not the wrong wrong thing. Sorry. So we twisted it, and then um, undid it, and then you know made it bouncy. So look at that. This could be you. This could be your wife too. We're gorgeous, beautiful, and goodbye. I love y'all. Boom. Definitely what I've discovered is that both products actually bring out the best results. So you can use the, both of them to do like a twist out or braid out or bantu knot out. Definitely would recommend any of these two products for a bantu knot out. My favorite of the two would actually be the curl defining cream for this particular hairdo or this particular look. Why? Because I just felt like the right side of my head was a lot more moisturized. The bantu knots really held. They dried easily and 
yeah i just felt like it really took to the product well i don't know if the product really sat well in my hair i just feel like this side of my head really really did well with regards to the bantu knots as opposed to this other side of my hair another thing that i noticed from using the lock and twist gel is that I did experience some flaking, but that could be because maybe I used a lot of product on my hair. So that could be the reason why I experienced some flaking. So that's just something you can look out for if you use the Lock and Twist gel. This one is more raisin and this one is more droopy. I don't know if you get what I mean. I don't know if that also has anything to do with the product, but then if you prefer more of a wave, then I guess the lock and twist gel would be good. But if you prefer something more coily, then the curl defining cream could work. But then again, could be also the fact that I did it on my left hand side and I'm not really a left handed person. So maybe like the, the methods in which I actually knotted the Bantus could have been the contributing factor. I'm not sure. When I talked about the flaking, because part of like this one, I mixed both the lock and twist gel, but like you'll see the flakes in the hair, even though you'll see them like as you're taking down your bantu knots. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. But other than that, um, I loved the way the curl defining cream worked, and I also like how the lock and twist gel worked, even though my favorite out of the two would have to be the curl defining cream. I'm happy that I can use any of these products to actually achieve proper looking bantu knots. That's how my bantu knots came out, and I'm 100% pleased. And I'm sure in future, I can take them down with less braids. I feel like that's my fault. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.